Here we've got the radial vein and the ulnar vein, and we have the median cubital vein right here running across the anterior part of the elbow. Okay. This right here is going to be the cephalic vein, and this vein down here is going to be the basilic vein. There would be a brachial vein right here, right? but this brachial vein has been removed so that we could see the bone here. Basilic and cephalic veins will come together here to the axillary vein, and then when axillary vein passes first rib, the name changes to subclavian vein. And the subclavian vein will dump its blood into one of the brachiocephalic veins. Right? We can't really see a good brachiocephalic vein right here, but we can on this side. Right? Here's a nice brachiocephalic vein. Here we have internal jugular veins dumping blood into the brachiocephalic veins. Then this blood vessel right here would be the superior vena cava. <laughs> The inferior vena cava would bring blood from the lower part of the body up toward the heart. This vein right here, the longest vein in the body, this is the great saphenous vein. You can see that hook up with the femoral vein here to bring blood into the external iliac and then common iliac and then inferior vena cava. External iliac vein and internal iliac veins coming together to form the common iliac vein, which would dump blood into this inferior vena cava. We've got renal veins here that will also dump blood into this inferior vena cava. Here you can see a hepatic vein right here bringing blood from the liver to the inferior vena cava. Keep in mind the hepatic vein is different from the hepatic portal vein. Hepatic portal vein brings blood from these organs in the abdominal cavity to the liver. The hepatic vein brings blood from the liver to the inferior vena cava so that it can be returned to the heart. Uh, this is the pulmonary trunk right here and then it'll branch into pulmonary arteries so these would be pulmonary arteries in blue. The pulmonary veins we would see in red right here bringing oxygenated blood back to the heart, specifically the left atrium. Here we can see a nice view of the pulmonary semilunar valve. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.